with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11.3 Team Ogre Attacks. In the last video, somebody wrote us a mysterious letter telling us to meet them under a tree, and what would you know? It's Nelly. It's been a while, hasn't it, Mark? N Nelly? What are you doing here? I thought you'd gone to study abroad. That was just a cover story. I've been travelling around the world, looking into a certain matter. Mark, there's something you need to know. It's about your grandfather. Mark, he's alive. M what? Forty years ago, the Inazuma Eleven had an accident en route to the Football Frontier Final and forfeited the game. Your grandfather, Dave Evans, was the team coach. He was convinced there was more to the accident than met the eye. Determined to uncover the truth, he began to investigate what happened that day. But Radark had him killed, or so it seemed. Your grandfather was seriously injured, but he survived. He was assisted by others who were fighting Ray Dark and was spirited overseas. He decided it was best to disappear and for the world to believe he was dead. He wanted to protect his loved ones. Granted, you're alive. I knew it. Mark, I think there is a fair chance that your grandfather is here on Leocot. You're here, after all, so it's definitely possible. Grandad, could you really be here? Your first step to the top of the world. No, I'm afraid I must be on my way. Hang on, Nelly, you're off already? Aren't you going to come and say hello to the others? I'm afraid not, Mark. There are still other questions that need answering. Why has your grandfather been in hiding for 40 years? There must be more to it. Oh, in case you're interested, I just saw some Italian players over at the port. They seem to be arguing about something. I wonder what Paolo and the others are doing there. I bet it's got something to do with Ray Dark. Ah, so you know about Ray Dark. As long as he's here on this island, you can't afford to let your guard down. Please take care of yourself, won't you, Mark? You too, Nelly. And thanks for everything. I wonder what's going on with Paolo and the others. We need to head to the port. Yeah, so it was basically confirmed anyway. It was um, strongly, strongly suggested that Mr. Dave Evans is still alive and also that Nelly was still on the island. The player could kind of tell these things, but it is new to Mark Evans, the main character of the story. He needed to know that stuff. And now we're going to go see what the Italian players are arguing about because thankfully they haven't left yet. Aspettata, wait, where do you think you are going? Scusa, Paolo, but this is not an official match. We do not want to get hurt. If you run away, you are admitting defeat. We have to stand up to Signor D together. Cosa? Who are you to give us orders? You are not the captain. Paolo, what's wrong? Ciao, Captain Evans. It, uh, it's Signor D. The other day, just after we saw you, Team D appeared. They threatened us, saying not to even think of playing against them. We ignored them and carried on training, but then there was an accident. Our keeper, Gigi, he was hurt by some falling logs. 
No, no, some of our teammates have left, saying they don't want to play against Team D. We are down to seven players. We cannot field a full team against Team D tomorrow. Paolo. I'll join your team. It's not an official tournament match, so it shouldn't be a problem, right? D Tavera? B but we cannot ask you to do that. Ray Dark is a problem for all of us, Paolo. We can't let him get away with this. And besides, we want you to represent Italy. We want to play against your team in front of the whole world. Grazie, Captain Evans. Well, if that's the plan, then count me in. Jude, are you sure you're ready to face Ray Dark? Don't worry about me. I have to stand up to him. We have to finish this. As things stand, the game against Argentina is two days away, and I just can't focus. Right, I'm in too. I'm not letting you face Ray Dark without me. Good to have you on board, David. That means we've got ten players. We just need one more. Well, I guess this is my cue. <laughs> if we're settling things with Ray Dark once and for all, then I'm not going to be left sitting on the sidelines. Caleb, but you... What? What are you giving me that look for, Jude? You think I'm still in league with Ray Dark? Well, maybe I'm not the only one. Not this again. We've been over this already. Look, the important thing is that we can feel the full team. Grazie mille. Paolo, why don't you and the rest of your team come and stay with us in our dormitory? That's a good plan. If you stay in the Italian camp, Ray Dark could strike again. Si sicuro? Are you sure, Captain Evans? I'm assuming that means, is it secure? Of course I'm sure. It'll be fine. Everyone will be happy to see you. Come on, let's go. And, yeah, just Bianchi's coming with us. Forget the rest who are also supposed to be bunking with us. So let's take our casual Italian men back to our dormitory. Do not remove from context, and let's just settle them in nice and politely. So meanwhile, uh, just a passing note, you won't be able to tell any sort of quality difference because I'm keeping the same settings that I had in the previous episode, but this is actually the first video I'm recording with my new Elgato HD60. I only bought it to replace my broken capture card, but it's a thing. If ever I do another big console game, there'll definitely be a difference there. Well, if that's the case, we'll assist you in any way we can. You're very welcome to stay here until the game against Team D tomorrow. Make yourselves at home. Grazie davvero. I've got loads of questions for you, Paolo. I want to hear all about football in Europe. Why not save the questions until after dinner? I hope you'll like the food, Paolo. I love Japanese food. Che bueno. I've got a Japanese friend, you know. Wow, really? I didn't know that. Is it me? <laughs> it's not him. What's the matter, Celia? J Jude's disappeared. I wonder where he could have got to. Because if you forgot she's his sister, I remind you at every available opportunity. Because it's so easy to overlook. I think that's just an excuse. If I know my brother, he'll want to be alone with his thoughts. Sono preoccupato. I am worried. It is dangerous for Jude to be on his own. Captain Evans, we need to find him. After the dinner. Because I am very hungry. Uh, no, we're, not, we're gonna skip dinner. Jude is actually back at the Argentinian camp, so let's head there and see if there's any more puzzles we need to solve, or if we can just actually go and speak to our good buddy old pal Mr. Jude Sharp who has the same surname as me so I, I could make best buds with him. So whenever I arrive in Argentina I have to go back to walkthrough mode because indeed it can be quite tricky to figure out what to do here. You won't find Jude himself, rather you need to speak to the man in the know in front of the statue. It is you again, isn't that boy over there a friend of yours? He's not actually there if you just look around on the map, but... Just what can Ray Dark be planning? 
Whatever it is, I know it won't be good for the game of football. Sharp. I want you to join me once again. It was I who taught you all about football. You are my masterpiece. Ray Dark, wh where are you? No, it's just my imagination. I'm letting him get to me. I still can't crawl out from under his shadow. Pa, don't you know how pathetic you sound? And to think you were once the captain of Royal Academy. Stonewall, what are you doing here? Never mind that. Let's see how you deal with this pass. How about a bit of shooting practice? It'll help take your mind off things. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. For all I know, you're here on Radark's orders. You've got a lot of nerve saying that. Radark's been spotted with someone who looks suspiciously like you. Are you quite sure it hasn't been you all along? It isn't me! Heh. <laughs> Bit touchy, aren't you? What about you? Who's to say Ray Dark hasn't tempted you back to his side? What if you're planning to betray us all? Why do you want to win the FFI anyway? To feel more powerful, so you can lord it over everyone else? Just what kind of power are you after anyway? The kind that Ray Dark can offer you? Pa, you can think whatever you like. I hate seeing him like this. Captain Evans, I want to know more about Senior D. How can he have two players on the same team fighting like this? So that is the truth about Senior D. You are a fine captain. You are always thinking of your teammates. When I see your team, I can see how deeply they trust in you. You remind me a little of our captain. Um, thanks. Where is your captain, by the way? He's away at the moment. I'm standing in for him until he gets back. But he always appears when we need him. One day, I will become a player like him. Oi, that's enough, I said. Why, you think you can give me orders? Oh, they're at it again. I need to get them back to the dormitory. Mark? Huh? Captain Evans, uh, may I call you Mark? Of course you can, Paolo. Grazie, Mark. Allora, shall we head back to your team's dormitory? And we have to manually re-add Jude. Don't have to manually re-add Caleb. He was just, um... The <laughs> oh, so Cameron Hame, huh? You think you're part of the team, do you? Well, I've got a surprise for you. You're not. I hope you enjoyed your five minutes of fame. We're going <laughs> to drag Jude and Caleb back by the ears. Back to our actual dormitory. <laughs> Cameron Hame, <laughs> And Ollie Twister wants to join us as well. Well, you're going to have even less to do than Cameron. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, my Qatari defender, Scylla, also learned the dribbling move Bewildered while we were off screen. Uh, but for now, it is the day against the match with Team D. Coach Hillman, we better be going. Be careful out there. This is Ray Dark you're up against. You never know what he's planning. I wish he could join you, but the powers that be on the FFI board called. They want to see Coach Travis and I for some reason. Ah, oh, Mark, thank goodness I caught you. I'm afraid I have some rather bad news. It's Darren. He collapsed. What? I'm sorry, Mac. 
You've got a big game tomorrow and here's me falling over like a big blimmin' idiot. I'm afraid you've run yourself into the ground, young man. You've been pushing yourself too hard with all that training. But why, Darren? Why have you been training that much? I ain't like you, Mac. I don't have a fancy special move of me own, so I ended up getting me knickers in a blimmin' twist. I was scared I wasn't good enough. What use is a blimmin' copycat who just uses all of your moves? I know exactly how you feel, Darren. I remember how I felt when I realised that I'd just been copying me granddad all along. So now you get to know that you've been copying two people. But is that really so bad? If you look up to another player, what's wrong with imitating them? Darren, to tell you the truth, I'm really happy that you want to use my moves. R really? Come on, Darren, you gotta keep that dream alive. You can totally do it. You can come up with your own awesome move. He's right. Don't give up, Darren. As long as you feel up to it, let's get back out on the pitch and let's keep working on it. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, everyone. If there's anyone better at giving a pep talk than Mark Evans, I'd like to meet him. We all owe him a lot, that's for sure. Whenever Mark speaks, you can feel the team spirit growing. There's just something about him. Right, you lot, we've got a match to play. Look out, Team D, here we come! The game will take place on the pitch in the Italian camp. That is our home turf. We will not allow anyone to take it from us. Forza! Get on, Jude! Get on, David! Get on... <laughs> Get on, everyone! Yeah, so now, this time we really can go to the Italian pitch. And straight away we need to add all the right people into the party. Give me a sec. Specifically, it means you have to have them in the group of four, which threw me off a little, was slightly confused. But anyway, hope Darren's going to be okay, because, you know, I do want him to get his own special move. But for now, that's it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to head to the Italian camp to take on a team of the... This has been Tyler the Toaster. See you later.